Okay, 27. Okay, we got this 40 kilogram kid riding this Ferris wheel, rotates four times each minute. Okay, look at four times each minute. That's an angular velocity. The angular velocity is four revolutions in 60 seconds. That's an angular velocity. Revolutions per second, that is uh, angular velocity. Now we want to convert this into radians per second. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the linear velocity. So like here's the kid on the Ferris wheel. Uh, the Ferris wheel, let's say, is rotating this way. Let's say the motion is that way. If this kid left the circle, how would he leave the circle? Tangent, you know, and that's in meters per second. So the way you find that is you go angular velocity times radius. Remember the chain in the face story? You want to be standing close to the center. That's where it's moving slower in meters per second. Okay, so, but this needs to be, this angular velocity has to be radians per second. So one revolution is two pi radians. So the revolutions cancel and we get 0 0.419 radians per second. So plug that in down here, 0 0.419 radians per second. The radius of the Ferris wheel is nine meters. Right, this 18 meters is the diameter, so the radius is half that. So this velocity, the tangential velocity, which we need, comes out as 3.7699 meters per second. So we're gonna use that. All right, part A, now we're ready to calculate some answers. Question A wants the centripetal acceleration. Centripetal acceleration is V squared over R, so plug in your V, which we just solved for, plug in your R, and you get a centripetal acceleration of about 1.58. Okay, that's the centripetal acceleration. Okay, part B, what force does the seat exert on the child at the lowest point of the ride? Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to revert this back. Okay, so we're focusing on the kid. So look, here's the circular path right here. And the kid, here's a seat, right? There's the seat. The kid is sitting on the seat. What are the forces on the kid? Well, mg down, normal force up. The normal force is what they're asking for. When it says here, it says, what force does the seat exert on the kid? What are they asking for? Normal force. The force of a surface is called the normal force. They are asking us for the normal force. So what we do is we sum the forces. You go normal force minus mg. Sum of the forces always equals ma. This a is a centripetal. How do I know that that's a centripetal acceleration? Because this kid is in a circular path, right? So then we plug in v squared over r. So the normal force is going to be mv squared over r plus mg. So I'm going to let you guys plug the numbers in. We already solved for v. That was 1.58. So when you plug all the numbers in, the normal force comes out as, <clears throat> let me see, 455.2. Okay, directed to the center of the circle. The normal force points to the center of the circle. Okay. Everybody got that? Okay, part C. So now we're focusing at the top of the circle. Okay, so the kid is up here. Here's the seat. The kid is sitting on the seat. So we got mg down. I know that art is horrible. That's really bad. Come on, Spaldo. Try that again. So the kid is sitting here on the seat. mg down. Normal force up. Center of the circles down here, right? Why is the center important? Always make it plus. So when you sum the forces, you're going to go mg minus the normal force. Whoa, is that weird? Why is mg plus? It points to the center. And then this is going to equal ma, but that's v squared over r, right? ma. So now take this, solve it for normal force. Normal force is going to be mv squared over r minus mg. So that gives a normal force of 
Where did I write it? 328. When you plug the numbers in, you'll get 328 newtons. Okay, now, part D is definitely not regular physics level. I would not ask. Everything so far I could ask you on the quiz. Part D, should we just not do it? Or should I show you real quick? Let me show you. Let me show, let me show you real quick. Let me show you. I already got it solved. I'm going to show you real quick. So look, when the kid is halfway up, so we're, like, we're kind of focusing over here on the side. So here's the seat, right? The kid's sitting on the seat like that. So we got uh, normal force up, normal force up, mg down, and then there has to be a force to the center that keeps them from sliding off, right? So th this force to the center, it's a frictional force. Um, so here we sum the forces, x. We sum the forces, y. Uh, so this is going to be normal force minus mg. Those are just going to cancel. There's no circle there or anything. Um, so this force pointing to the center, it's going to equal mv squared over r. So you can solve for that. So this force pointing to the center comes out as 63.2. Uh, the normal force is equal to mg, which is 392. So basically what we have is this. We have 60.3, and then we have 392. So the total force is at an angle. So you do Pythagorean theorem, and then solve for this angle. That's the answer. That would be too hard. I'm not going to put that one on the quiz. <laughs>